Hi, friends. Yeah, I know. Disappointing. It's just me. No Rhiannon. Sorry. I know it's a letdown, but we're going to have to get through this together. Rhiannon wished she could have joined us, but she unfortunately is tied up in something she couldn't get out of. She will be sorely missed as she is a legend and a princess that I wish I had here with me. Um, we're wishing her all the best in what she's doing. Um, and I'm sure she'll appreciate that fact because I know you could use a little bit of love and support right now. So just have to bear with me and settle for the, uh, the less interesting version of this, which is the time you'll spend with me. But here we are. Welcome, everybody. I'm Tyler Hines, and uh, I'm going to read some of the lovely words that these people laid out for me. I'm excited for you to see my uh, new movie, a picture of her, part of Spring Into Love. I have a couple of questions that Hallmark Channel sent my way that we, I, will be answering. So let's get started. In a picture of her, my amazingly delightful co-star, Rhiannon Fish, plays Beth, and she visits her aunt in Los Angeles and cross paths with a freelance photojournalist, that's me, Jake. Can I share more about our characters and meet cute? Um, well, our, our meet cute involves uh, some co-stars that don't look that dissimilar to the gentleman to my right, who's kind enough to join me, so I didn't have to go this alone. Um, my co-host today is Rusty James. How are you, sir? You okay back there? Okay. He's a little bit high as he's on the dresser, which is uh, abnormal for him. This is not usually where he hangs out, but for our purposes, that's where he is. So our first meet cute takes place in a dog park. And uh, when we shot that scene, I was graced with the presence of a small animal um, that I think was a pug. He looked like a pug, was shaped like a pug, and certainly breathed like a pug. Um, beautiful creature. Her name is Princess in the movie. And uh, through the interaction of our canine friends, uh, Rhiannon's character and, and mine, they meet each other. And uh, one of the, the lovelier moments on that day was her feline co-star was not quite cooperating with her. And uh, I think a piece of that ended up in the movie where you can hear me enjoying her struggles as she was leaving the scene. Um, next question. Jake noticed Beth before they formally met and takes an incredible picture of her. This is true. Without giving any spoilers, how does that picture impact the relationship? Um, well, let me say first off, the picture that is in this movie is quite a lovely photo. And uh, I got to give hats off to Rhiannon to be able to, to do that. Um, I'm not sure if she has modeling in her background, but certainly I know I would probably butcher that scenario. Uh, it really is quite a striking photo that our team put together with her and, and uh, our cinematographer, Mel Ward, who is an incredible talent and, and one of the rare female photogra cinematographers that we have in the industry. She did a really good job capturing a, a worthwhile image that I felt um, was sufficient and, and sort of building this whole story around. And so in our movie, that is sort of our first interaction is me taking this photo of her. And uh, I think this, the outcome of that photo and, and what ends up happening in our storyline changes everything as far as our characters are concerned. Um, you'll see how that plays out and I won't spoil it for you, but um, it certainly changes the dynamic and, and makes for a bit of a, of an exciting, fun, titillating premise. Uh, all right, next question. Beth and Jake are drawn to each other's charm, okay, as they encourage one another to stay true to themselves. Why do I think viewers will connect with our character's storyline? Well, for me personally, um, one of the things I loved about this story is that it, one of the main sort of themes within it is this idea that in our modern age, people... Uh, may not uh, have the time nor the impetus to really care about the sort of simpler, finer, beautiful things in our world. And, and Rusty, what's going on back there? What are you doing? What's happening? Pardon me. 
You good, pal? This guy's playing a heights game that I don't know if I'm comfortable with. Oh, you good? Okay. Crisis averted. Um, and this theme and the idea that 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 uh, my character, who's an artist, sort of feels that people no longer have a place in their lives for simple, beautiful, iconic images. The, the world is kind of more loud and, uh, than it used to be. And, and I think the idea that um, he learns that, that, that there is a place in the world for, for these kinds of things and people do appreciate the simple beauty in life and, and uh, that Rhiannon's character is the one that really shows him that and reignites that uh, artist inside him and, and, and instills in him that, uh, that faith and, and the culture to embrace a, a sort of simple classic image. Um, it's kind of a beautiful premise. And so that being at the center of it, I thought was, it was a nice idea. And, and I think in the reverse of that, I think Rhiannon's character goes through this journey where she questions where she belongs and if she's living the life that she should be living. And um, very often in life, it seems as though with social media and, and the way the world is, we can always kind of feel like the grass is greener or maybe we should be doing something that, that may be different than what we're doing and, and maybe a departure of who we are as a person. But for her character, I think she goes through an exploration of, of understanding that, that who she is is enough. And the life that she has is the right life for her all along, uh, which I think is a beautiful idea. Yes, you tap me on the shoulder. Do you have something you wanted to add? No? Okay, sure. Moving on. Um, our characters inspire each other to try new things and reach for their dreams while going on some fun adventures while they are exploring LA. What is my favorite scene in the movie? Let's see. The ending of our movie, I think I, I quite like. There's something uh, kind of wonderful about Rhiannon's character being this sort of uh, grassroots human being who is a, a fisherman, fisherwoman of sorts. And uh, her having that occupation, I think, sort of takes Jake by surprise a little bit. And, and at the end of our movie... Yes? Would you like to go down? Okay. Come. I think our co-host has had enough. Oh, he wants his dental stick. Go ahead. You can have it. And so I think at the end of our movie, when he finally goes into her world, um, seeing her in that circumstance, I think is a really beautiful thing. I think hearing her talk about her life and her aspirations and, and, and who she is and, and who she wants to be and, and having him see her in that world, uh, I thought was, was a nice payoff and moment at the end of our film. So that was one of my favorite moments. Um, Beth and Jake are both inspired by nature. She loves being out in the ocean on her family's fishing boat. And Jake is able to photograph the beauty of any location. What is my favorite quality about our characters? And do I have any similarities? Um, certainly, I think uh, if anybody is familiar with me and, and my life, uh, the character that I play in this movie may feel a little bit familiar and that he rides a black motorcycle. And I also have one of those. Um, as well as takes photographs. And while I don't ever consider myself a photographer, I do tend to use social media, these things as a, as a means to sort of share what I see uh, and not so much turn the camera on myself. So I think that's something similar to, to who this character is. Um, pardon me. UK pal. Okay. Moving on. Jake showcases his creative side when he plans different dates with Beth from cooking dinner to riding through the hills on his motorcycle. What's one of my favorite date activities? Um, Jake does do that. And that is kind of a romantic situation. I think um, a, a ride on the back of a motorcycle is never really a bad thing. Certainly when you're in a place like California. And so I think the prospect of that in this movie is a bit, uh, a bit of a lovely setting. Uh, I can't say I, I, I haven't done that myself. Um, as far as one of my favorite date activities, nothing in particular. I think, um, I think 
I like when things go the way they're supposed to. And if you don't quite know how that evening is going to go down, I think that's all the more fun. And it feels like it becomes something organic to the situation, to the person that you're across from. And, and I think uh, trying to contrive something that, that feels like an idea of what a date should be um, it's probably not how I would go about it. Uh, more so just sort of listening to the person across from me and, and, and knowing who they are, perhaps a bit finding something that uh, might tickle us in this sort of new circumstance that we would find ourselves in, in our individual personalities. I think that would probably be the way I would go about it. Um, but a motorcycle ride through the hills is not a bad thing. All right. This is the first time I am starring with Rhiannon and Fish in a Hallmark movie together. What is it like working with each other and the rest of the crew? Um, well, this is uh, a good time to speak about this. Rhiannon is, is a really exceptional human being and a truly talented artist. And uh, I can't say enough about this person and the performance that she gave. Um, I know exactly what she did and what she was up against in making this movie and, and in no short order was she spectacular and thoughtful um, and very capable when it came to navigating these scenes and trying to find the beauty that is this movie. It's not a, uh, it's not a high stakes film. I, I think it's something that is scratching a certain itch that uh, is a worthwhile scratch, which is something romantic and, and warm and fun. Uh, and a little modern. And I think uh, Rhiannon, it was, a, it was a real blessing to have her uh, be a part of this film. And I'm very lucky to be in her company and to be her sort of co-star and supporting character. Uh, truly a, a splendid human being and, and a talent that I think uh, we're all going to see a lot more of. Uh, certainly, I would be very lucky to work with her again. And I know many others would feel the same way. Um. There are some fun photos and videos I've posted on my socials. Was that right? Are there any exciting behind the scenes stories I can share from the film? Um, let's see. When we embarked on making this movie, I uh, obviously was aware of the fact that there'd be some motorcycle situations and thought it pertinent that I'd be the person on that motorcycle. Um, it seemed like it would be a waste opportunity for that not to be the case. And, I kind of ate my words a little bit. I found myself in the middle of a rainstorm freezing in the mountains, um, frigid on a motorcycle, which you can't see on film. Luckily you can't see the rain, but, uh, spent hours just in unpleasant circumstances in a very idyllic scenario, which was me riding a bike. So that was, that was an interesting circumstance, um, but definitely memories I, I won't forget and, and something I wouldn't trade for anything else. Not that that's funny at all. Um, okay, rapid fire game. To wrap up the live chat, I have a rapid fire game of this or that inspired by a picture of her, which I think is a lovely title, uh, and spring into love that I can now answer. All right, here we go. Rapid fire game by myself as my dog has abandoned me um, and is just staring at me, wanting me to take him outside. Here we go. Ride a bicycle or motorcycle? I think if you know me, we might know the answer to that one. Far less exercise. If you just, just takes a bit of wrist action and off you go. So I'd go motorcycle as I'm not the fittest person. Um, spend the day at a farmer's market or at a dog park. Um, both sound lovely. A dog park, I'll probably have to say in this scenario because my dog is burning a hole in my face and I think that's exactly where he wants to go. So dog park, all right? You win, pal. Take photos or go fishing? Um, go fishing. It's not something I do a lot of, but that sounds fun. Um, certainly wouldn't want to take photos of myself. Uh, perhaps taking photos while fishing. Sounds like a lovely experience. Make a homemade meal or dine at a restaurant. Um, both are lovely. I am a big fan of Korean barbecue. Uh, and I think that might be 
my meal of choice. So let's just go with that because who doesn't like a good Korean barbecue? Orchids or roses? Roses, classic, beautiful, um, lovely. And I think they make quite an appearance in this movie. So seems appropriate here. Travel or stay local? I do like home. Uh, I don't get to be home much. Um, though I do like going to new places. Um, I think I'll go with stay local. Cuddle up under the stars or watch a movie at home. I think equal parts both. Maybe watch a movie under the stars if you can arrange such a thing. Maybe with a projector outside. I think that's kind of the best of both worlds in this scenario. I can say I found myself in many times because I am a man of nature and a man of movies, I suppose. Wrapping up, finally. We're here, folks. Here we are. I apologize you had to go through that with me. I know Rhiannon would have made this much more lovely, and we all miss her for it. But uh, at least in this scenario, you know what you don't want. And uh, we'll all be more grateful for Rhiannon when she does return to our loving channel and grace us with her presence. But uh, Rhiannon, we love you. We miss you. Um, wish you were here. I know I'm sure they all do. Um, but here we go, signing out. Thank you for joining me. I can't wait for you to watch the premiere of this new movie, A Picture of Her. Uh, tune in on Saturday, March 25th at 8, 7 Central, only on Hallmark Channel. Tweet along while you watch using hashtag A Picture of Her. I will be there. Um, I hope you keep me company. Um, we always do kind of have a party over there, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, and we'll make our thumbs bleed. Until then, enjoy yourselves. Take care. Hope you enjoy the movie. And uh, I'm sure I'll see you all soon.